Hey, what up? Lazy here as always. In this episode, we're back on Forza Horizon 5, and we're here with this, the Mitsubishi Galant VR4. And what I want to do is essentially a drift power build. So, 6.2 litre V8, snow tyres, all-wheel drive, and see how it goes down the mountain drift zone. So let's jump in and get this build started. Okay, so as I said in the intro, the stock engine is not staying in this car. We're going to swap it out to the 6.2 litre V8. We could go with a turbo rally, but I'm not feeling it. I'm going to leave the all-wheel drive system in it. And as for the boost, I want more of a linear power band. So I'm going to go with the supercharger. Cool. Jumping into the body. For the front bar, honestly... I like the shape of the stock car so I'm pretty much gonna leave everything stock apart from the wing which I'm gonna upgrade to this one yeah I'm not feeling any of this at all yeah nah I'm good thanks all right jumping into the tire compound I'm gonna go for snow tires for the tyre width, I'm going to go with a 245 in the front and in the rear. For the sizes, I'm going to go with an 18 all round. Yep, right there. As for the rims, I want these, the heed field, feld, I don't know how to pronounce that. And we'll max the truck width out in the front and the rear as well. For... The clutch, definitely going race, race, transmission, race drive shaft, and a drift diff, or diffs, since it's all-wheel drive. We'll go with a brake upgrade and drift suspension. Nah, that actually looks pretty good. Could be a bit lower, but I'm not complaining. We'll max out the sway bars in the front and the rear, no cage, and we'll chuck the weight reduction on now, 255.80, I think that was. As for the engine, we'll just go through, completely max it out. May as well. As I said, power build. We'll get the final numbers when we get to the flywheel as usual. That's usually how these videos go. So here we go. 1,015 horsepower, 842 foot-pounds at 26.25. Yeah, that could work. Awesome, so there is the build done. The paint is also done. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that other shit. It's much appreciated. Cheers. Now let's drop in a tune. Okay, so for the tune, for the front tire pressure, I'm going to bring this all the way up to 45 psi, and I'm going to take it up to 55 psi in the rear. For the gearing, I'm going to pull this all the way back to 280 for the final drive. That should put forth in a nice spot, even though we'll be on limiter, it doesn't really matter. For the camber, I'm going to max it out in the front and the rear at negative 5 degrees. And for the toe, I'm going to max it out, uh, toe out at 5 degrees in the front and the rear. All the rest of the suspension is fine. If you want to download this tune, share codes at the bottom of the screen. For the brakes, I'm going with my usual 3140. It pretty much never changes, unless I'm doing a burnout video. And for the differentials, I'm going to lock the front at 100, zero spine, the rear's already locked. And as for the center balance, I'm going to go with an 85 in the rear. Awesome. So there is the tune done. Now let's go give this thing a rip.
sweet. So there we go, 1.17 mil isn't too bad at all, especially for a four-door car. This thing is really snappy in transition, and the power band is right there where you want it. You really have to be on it, though. Some places it can be a bit too quick going in and out of corners, but I'm super happy with how this turned out. This is excellent, but that's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Laters.